I got beat up a lot. And at first I just ran. And then when I started to fight back, accompanied by broken fingers, you know what happens? You don't get bullied as much. Just because you get beaten, and I've been beaten many times, that doesn't mean you've been defeated. So many people, even people in my family, they would say, Renee, the way you walk down the street, you're putting yourself at risk, right? Why do you, you know, present yourself like you do? Because you could be killed. And my answer to them is, if I present myself as somebody I'm not, they've already killed me. Sure, our community was smaller because the oppression was greater. It doesn't mean that the amount of people who would have fully blossomed had it not been for violence, oppression, ridicule. So it's refreshing now to see so many people now, you know, come out. I mean, you know, you even have trans politicians, for Christ's sake. See you later, okay? I often get mad at myself. Why did I live so miserable for all those years? In Jamaica, that culture is very religious. You never saw any evidence of any other gender but male and female. And when I migrated here, my family in Brooklyn, I was 10 years old. And I didn't really think about it. I just knew that I was different. I didn't transition until I was in my 50s because even after college, it just didn't seem like it was feasible because you always hear about people who lived in, in, in the West, in California and so forth, perhaps transitioning, but it wasn't something that, that, that I really thought about pursuing. Yeah, you know, I just lived miserable as a lesbian for many years. Happy birthday, Chris! It's a rebirth because I almost feel like I'm a teenager most days because I've lived this long life where the mirror did not reflect what I was feeling. I th truly think that I was always trans. It's, it's just that physically, when I looked in the mirror, that reflection wasn't coming back to me. Greetings, people. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing. Getting older can sometimes be difficult as it is. Getting older as a trans person is even a little bit more so because of marginalization in society. When we look at the word marginalized, it's just so painful, uh, especially as a transgender person and seeing it in our older adults. They shouldn't have to closet themselves when they go into a nursing home or into social setting. Society should have just embrace us for who we are. I'm not gonna deny it. There was a time when I had my nails painted. I would wear gloves like if I was on the bus because I was obeying ignorant people. And now, well, how about this? I'll take my gloves off deliberately. And that's freedom. That's really freedom because I don't care who you are on this earth. You make your freedom every day. Nobody gives it to you. And here's the other thing. When we talk about young people, I feel indebted to them because I think of many older trans people, they weren't as out as they are now, and it's because the youth liberated them. I feel indebted, I really do. Sometimes I'll even tell someone who came out like a month ago, and I'll say, thank you for freeing me. People try to dehumanize us as a people, as a group. We always come back and say, no, we're much more than that. I think that's what's scaring a lot of people because they see that the youth are not just laying back and not saying anything. Trans rights! Trans rights! Our human rights! Our human rights! Find the courage that, that I found later that I wish I had found earlier. Now, when I look in the mirror, it comes back to me. It gives me a new awakening in terms of how I feel about my, m myself. If you really feel it, you'll never be free until you do it. As long as you hide, you're in jail. Like I said, when you worry what other people think of you, you will always be their prisoner.
maybe in some ways I live my everyday life in more danger, but more free than ever. How's that?